All right, guys, we got the reveals. They already revealed the cards. They're actually insane. Interesting cards. I guess there's going to be a lot of focus on upgrading and kind of there's a new term, which is apprehension, which is to put something underneath your unit kind of until the, it dies. It has control over it. It cannot play. Uh, so it's very interesting that we're looking at this very early, actually. July 12th is the release of the set, and we're already getting the reveals in April. So once it's the first card at zero, it's going to be very scary here. Attached unit gains bounty ready to friendly resources. When this unit is defeated or captured, its opponent collects its bounty. So bounty is a new word here. Bounty, when this unit is defeated or captured, its unit collects its bounty. So you put this on the enemy, I believe. And uh, what happens is when you kill the enemy, you get its bounty. So it's going to take an action step. But the advantage from it or the reward from it is huge. You get two cards ready back up. Absolutely insane. You also got another card. I mean, it's, it's an in interesting upgrade. I don't know if we're going to see a lot of it. Maybe the Boba Fett combo. We're going to see something interesting. Maybe we see new leaders that can utilize this, but very interesting. Grogu here is interesting too. Rebel hero. Action exhaust an enemy unit. I think this is insanely strong. Zero five really cannot be killed easily. Can sit on the field for a while. So I think we're going to see this a lot. He's also a force unit. So you can do a lot of things with force. So I'm actually really worried about this card. I think we're going to see him exhaust an enemy unit. It's really strong. With sneak attack, you could maybe exhaust huge units uh, if you want to sneak attack him. But I mean, it's an option there because the yellow combinations, you could actually run it in cunning. Very interesting card. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot of play if it that just that zero five keeps it alive for a while and exhausting enemy units that control being allowing taking initiative making it really useful taking initiative. All right, the Mandalorian we have a really nice combination here hero vigilant uh, sentinel when played you may heal all damage from that a unit that costs two or less and give two shield tokens to it. Interesting idea. So uh, he's a centennial and you also heal anything from. Uh, two cost unit and he, he sh heals it and gives shields to it. So he's really really strong with the Grogu Keeping the Grogu alive for a really long time that control is gonna be insane in this deck You need to get rid of that Grogu ASAP and I think it's gonna be really useful with the Luke Being able to play Grogu into a shield keeping it on board for a while. It's a very interesting deck But yeah guys, we're gonna see a lot of cool combinations uh, This is the Mandalorian leader card. So really excited for this guys. We're gonna look into this um when, when you play an upgrade, you may exhaust this leader if you do exhaust an enemy unit with four or less remaining HP. Actually, really strong. Interesting. I think it's a little bit weird because I thought he was trying to give, like the Mandalorian, for example, heals unit, uh, he heals a two cost unit. So I thought maybe he wants to go like on really small units. So I thought maybe he would be able to actually affect his own units, but instead, what he does is he exhausts the enemy units. I guess to slow their effectiveness uh, down so they don't remove all his own board away. It's very interesting. It's not a huge amount of ex uh, exhausting or controlling. You can actually kind of whiff away from it because he has to play an upgrade. So uh, it, it costs an action step. And so you, if you don't take initiative, potentially this uh, can not affect you. But honestly, think about it. And up playing an upgrade and setting an opponent sideways is an insane value. So the Mandalorian makes playing the game really, really effective and gives you insane value by playing the game. And of course, when you flip him, you exhaust now units when you play upgrades by six or less. So it becomes much stronger. And he's over four seven, so really strong. This is what I wished Eden would be, something close to this four five maybe. That would have been more balanced, but Eden's trash. Anyways, another leader we got, Moff Gideon, really strong leader. Attack, uh, exhaust this leader. Attack with a unit that costs three or less. If it's attacking, uh, if it's attacking another unit, it gets plus one plus zero. And if you control five, he comes out at three six. Really strong, actually. With overwhelm, and each friendly unit that costs three or less gets plus one and gains overwhelm. Really, really strong. Actually, it allows you to just become really heavy, attack a lot of units, uh, do a lot of damage really early. Plus one, plus one. But really, it's uh, you're dealing with opponents. The trade offs are going to be really good with the Moff Gideon. But he also gets his own unit as well. So I guess uh, maybe we don't see it in here, but there's also more more cards to be released. But this is the artwork right now. Interesting.